Greetings of the day. Hope you are having a great time. Let's get started with our new session. My name is Ms. Prachivani and today we will talk about billing and payment methods which we see in food and beverage service organizations. So this video will focus on various billing methods and mode of bill payments. So to begin with, let us talk about control system. A proper checking system which covers order taking and billing method will ensure that all items which are served to the guest are recorded and are charged for. In absence of the control system, the organization will lead towards loss in revenue. Today, with the help of advanced software, FNB control has become easier. No control will be effective if proper training is not given to the service staff. So when we're talking about billing, guests are charged for food and beverage that they have consumed in an outlet. Today, manual billing system is not used for obvious reasons. So we are talking about computerized bills and that is convenient because it minimizes the errors and it generates the essential reports. It saves time, ensures good control and it avoids duplication of work. So before the bill is presented to the guest, a server must make sure that all the food and beverage items are charged for. That is the most essential part. Two, we also have to check the total of the bill. Three, a server needs to make sure that the date, table number, number of covers are properly mentioned. Now when we talk about billing methods, there are various billing methods that I use. The first one is bill as a check. Here, this we will see mostly in duplicate checking system where the duplicate copy of food order is made as a bill by entering value of food which is ordered. And the same is then presented to the guest. So the guest may pay directly to cashier or pay to the waiter. At the end of service, the cash collected must be handed over to the control department. This system is usually seen in smaller hotels. Separate bill. This bill is made referring to the second copy of KOT at the end of service by billing staff. This will be seen in triplicate checking system. The bills must have the reference KOT number. As we all know, all the KOT numbers are mentioned on the KOT. All bills are serially numbered for control purpose. The top copy of the bill is presented to the guest in a folder. On receiving cash, the bill is stamped as paid and then returned to the guest. Now, this system is usually seen in high class or top rated restaurants, or fine dining restaurants. Prepaid. If this occurs when the money is received for a specific occasion or an event, so mostly this is seen in banquets. Vouchers. In such cases, a guest is issued credit by a third party or by his or her employer in the form of a voucher. Now this voucher can be exchanged for food or alcoholic or non-alcoholic drinks to the maximum value which is indicated in the voucher. So the minute you exceed the amount which is written on the voucher, the guest must pay the excess amount. Then we are talking about bill with the order. Here, this is the food order and customer's bill which is combined on one sheet and would be presented to the guest. When the order is taken, each of the guest requirement would be written down in the column next to the price column and amount will be noted down in the appropriate column. So what happens here is each key of the computer is programmed to a specific dish. So as the dish is entered, the price of the each dish will appear on the monitor showing the order to the customers. 
So when the order is complete, the total sum is displayed in the monitor. This is something you will definitely see in um, outlets like DMART or Big Bazaar. The next type of billing method we are talking about is no charge. In this method, the customer is requested to sign the bill for service received and the bill is then sent to the firm or company sponsoring the hospitality. The next is BTC, which is deferred account. Here the method of billing is often used in banquets. In this method, bill for the services offered is sent to the company or to a firm. So the payment of the bill might not happen on the day of the event. I was talking about bill to company here. Now this is usually seen in corporate bookings. This method is used when bills are sent to the company for settlement. It is also called as direct billing. Now this type of billing is acceptable only when companies are on the credit list and a certain credit period is extended. Let's talk about mode of payment. Now there are various methods of making payments for the consumed food and beverage services. The first one is cash. The payment received in cash should always be checked in front of the guest and at the same time when change is given then it should be counted back to the customer. In this method complete payment is made in cash and therefore the currency note should be checked. The second mode is either use of credit or a debit card. Here if the payment is made by credit card, the first step is to check its validity. Then a printer slip is signed by the guest. So the minute you swipe the card, you get two slips. The first one is for the organization and the second one is for the guest. So guest is supposed to sign on the slip. Now today you have a pin number that, that you have attached with every card which is like a password and it is used for authentication. The latest technology named scan to pay also allows you to make the payment without swiping the card. Prepaid cards are given to the employees. So according to a company's policy employees who travel for work get a prepaid card which has a certain limit. So an employee can use this card to make necessary hotel or restaurant bills. Traveler's check, these may be issued by the travel agent and these checks have a pre-printed fixed amount. The traveler's check must be signed once when issued and then again when you're making a payment. You also have personal checks. When accepted checks, the cashier should check following information. First one is correct date, amount that has to be correct and also we have to make sure that the check is signed by the guest. Though we might not really have check payments practically happening in hotels, but this is a possibility which can be really used by the guest. We talk about electronic online digital payments a lot nowadays because this is increased, the use of this is increased because of the convenience. It is safe compared to carrying cash or for that matter a checkbook. And it is also very convenient because of user friendly applications. I'm sure you all have heard about payment applications like Google Pay, Beam, Paytm and phone pay. So after the day's operation, what happens is night auditor from the control department collects all the KOTs which are deposited in the kitchen box. And then he compares them with the cashier's copies of the bill to check if all the items issued are from the kitchen and are correctly charged. The main copy of the KOT and the duplicate copy of the bill are stapled together. 
if any shortage then it is to be recorded the concerned waiter and server will be asked for an explanation in that case i hope you all have watched this video carefully there's a quiz link which is given in the video description so please go ahead and attempt the quiz first two books are for your reference so if you wish to have more knowledge about this topic please go ahead and refer this books on that note i will see you for the next class